Okay, guys, we're here with uh, William Reed. For those who don't know you, uh, tell us a little about yourself. Uh, I live in Los Angeles. That's the closest major city. Uh, 42 years old. Uh, just reached my first year competing. First full year. Uh, I'm retired Navy. Yeah, you've years had old. a pretty good first full year, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say so. So, uh, what motivates you to compete in grip? Uh, it's, it's just what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I find it, uh, pretty fascinating. Um, I believe that there's a, a bit of body awareness that you need to have for each implement. So trying to uh, figure out what best position suits your particular body style, your height or whatever, uh, to have the most, you know, advantageous like style of lifting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, it's a kind of a fun yeah. puzzle. It's neat to figure out. Yeah. So, so for instance, uh, my Saxon is like really over and, you know, I played around with some different uh, positions uh but yeah it's very much like this which which you would think would not be beneficial uh but it is for me yeah, i've seen a couple other guys lift on the sacks in that way too yeah it definitely works for certain people for sure yeah i found uh bending really fun for uh figuring out different body positions and how to apply power in in different ways that's a that's a wild one. Oh, for sure yeah. So, um, what's your favorite grip implement, and what's your least favorite one? Uh, I don't know specifically about implements, but I like the pinch. Um, mm -hmm. pinch seems to work pretty well for me. Um, any kind of rolling handle is my one that I don't like. <laughs> yeah, I'm right there I, with you on the rolling handle. Yeah, I. I I just don't understand it yet. Uh, I need to play with some wrist positioning. Um, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll figure it out. Like the lifting that I've done with the rolling handles are, are not bad. They're just not getting really any better. Yeah. So. Yeah. I find that, uh, I've seen guys use a slight tilt, put their hands slightly off center, do different things. And I've tried all those different things, but I just think it's my uh, finger support strength just isn't quite up there yet. Just isn't conditioned enough yet. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, working the wrist is super important for this sport. And yeah. as I uh, get a little bit deeper into it, I'm finding that out that with certain things, I feel like if you train blobs and Saxon, it, it'll benefit some other areas. And then, of course, fat bar is just good just to train yeah. anyway. Absolutely. Yeah, I've read that about blobs uh, quite a bit. I've heard like from several gripsters and also through reading on the grip board over the years that uh, blobs transfer into a lot of different things in grip. Yeah. Um, I will. You know, it's just like the the whole gripper thing. Either you're going to get a lot of them or you're not going to get any of them. And I think I've gone more towards the blob stuff because for me, it seems more fun. Yeah. Like I like the feats. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot of them, but um, I like the feats. So, you know, I think, you know, they're just interesting. Yeah, I find the feats really interesting too. I was and, stoked and, the first time I hubbed to 45. And plus the the... Grippers are like super taxing on your CNS. Well, grippers are horrible, man. I've been chasing that three for, you know, consistently for the past year. And it's, yeah, it fries me every week. I absolutely agree. hundred percent on that. Like when I was doing it, uh, I was able to close a, a two and a half with the right hand at the time. Mm -hmm. Like, but, all right, that's, that's fine. Yeah, now, I mean, really, there's now. some guys that do pretty darn impressive grip feats. I mean, especially at your size, that aren't closing much higher than a two and a half. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, some of the well, 
some of the stuff that I like to do is like hanging. Yeah. Um, I find that uh, for the lighter weight guys, it, it's super beneficial. Also, because I used to do like uh, gymna gymnastic strength training. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it would be like real like tight tension, a lot of static movements, a lot of like slow, like grinding. And uh, that's sort of how I lift the sacks into my buddy's like, oh, I don't know why you take that long. I'm just like, I, I don't know. It's just how I do it. Yeah. Whatever works for you, you know? So um, what's your, what do you consider your greatest athletic achievement? Um, I, I guess lifting the Denny stones at such a light weight, no hook. I, I mean, when I did it, it was pretty surreal. Uh, uh -huh. I had to ask them, like, did I actually do it? Um, and it was cool. Uh, you, you know, you know, John Oko just said, "Hey, have you ever thought about doing this?" And I said, "I, I don't know what that is." And I looked it up, and I said, "Oh, that's that's insane." Yeah, said, it's oh, heavy. Oh no, you can do it. You know how positive and supportive he is. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, actually, uh, him. And you guys were super instrumental to like um, much of my early stages and, and mm -hmm. you know, still. So, uh, yeah, John's just like, no, 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 go do it. And I was like, <laughs> all right, John, you know, and then I went and visited him. And so he made me some loading pins, you know, like like your yeah. training set. So I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I got to do it now. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, I mean. You know, I didn't know hook because it's like, for one, like we're like grip people. Yeah. Um, that would, to me, it just wouldn't feel right if it was like a hook thing. Uh, and plus, uh, I think it's you know a little bit more impressive. And uh, being such a lighter weight, you know, you know, it's just makes it so much cooler. And it's like, when am I going to be able to go to Scotland again? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you're there, you really have to give it a shot. Yeah. Man, that that is a pretty awesome achievement, though. I mean, at the weight you are, just getting a chance to lift that, it's like 739 pounds or something. It's just pretty crazy. Yeah. It's awesome stuff, man. 732. Um, it's huge. What else have I done? I have a pretty ridiculous, like, chain lift, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, from gravel. Yeah. yeah, I've seen that. Um, You know, as soon as like a big person puts their hands on it you know like 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 a v-bar oriented person i'm sure they'll like blast it out of the water but i think it's at somewhere around 330 yeah that's a lot on a chain that's pretty damn gnarly man yeah 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 it's only a six inch lift so it's just yeah just just grind it out yep exactly just put the pain away and just do it um, I am now up to, uh, one calibrated 45 and a regular 45 plate pinch, uh, for each hand. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. I'm still working towards the fat man. So my, you know, yeah. I, you know, I'm not very big, so I don't have a very big hand. So that doesn't really help me very much, but yeah, I'm sure absolutely. I'll get there at some point. Yeah. The fat man's a monster. Absolutely. Yeah, that was a, that was a uh, tough one. And then just knowing how to chalk properly, you know, uh, I was struggling with my 90. And then the first day I was just like, hey, man, can you tell me how exactly how you do it? Mm -hmm. And then I lifted it that same session. Yeah, absolutely. That's technique is so huge in grip sport. I, I We did the same kind of thing with I think we have a half 85 and a half 90 as well. And yeah. uh, we went through the same process where without knowing how to chalk it, it was just stuck to the ground as soon as we chalked it up properly. And, and also gripping it a little bit differently than how we were is a big deal, too. There's a specific way to grip those things. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I I did get the Blob Warfare and the other Blob book, but I am mm -hmm. uh, terrible with programming. Like my style of training is pretty much like you know just like the 
Adam Glasses like says like intuitive, right? Yeah. So I I usually have something in mind that I want to do, and then pretty much everything else just whatever I do that day, I just like let it be free and. You know, if something's not working out, then then I switch it to something else. And uh, I don't really set any kind of time limits. I just know when I'm done. Yeah. You know, be, since I train fairly often, um, that's kind of what I do. And, and at this point uh, with the, you know, the whatever amount of success that I've had, um, in the, you know, like, progressing and everything um i would prefer to do this and um allow it to be as fun as possible than getting locked into like some kind of programming i'm not against programming uh and i will probably do something probably for the rolling handles because those things kill me man i'm kind of in that situation that you're talking about um where I was doing kind of like what I wanted to do, build up general overall hand strength. And that was a lot of fun. Absolutely. I mean, I was having a blast uh, playing with the Will Fong dumbbell and then the big dumbbell that I got, those 154 pounds and getting that with both hands. I mean, I was nice. getting pretty close to the inch. I broke the inch off the ground uh, just before I started to like really get into chasing the three, but I've wanted the three for so damn long. Like I've wanted it since I saw the grippers in the back of a Milo and I was like 14, 15 years old or something. And I just got my black belt and, uh, and I was starting to get more into grappling, uh, a lot more, you know, getting more into the adult classes where they, we start doing the submissions and the the locks and you know oh, stuff yeah. like that. So, uh, those are important. When I was starting to get into grappling, I realized I needed some grip strength and got into the grippers and a few years later found the grip board or whatever. And, uh, never really got the three and, you know, a little over a year ago, I shut it for the first time finally. So I was like, well, shit, I got to do some programming and chase this and get that MM0 checked off. But yeah, I mean, I am definitely looking forward to getting that checked off so I can get back into all the different things and have a little bit more fun. Okay. Sure. okay. You know, because uh, it is more fun just playing around and being more intuitive with it. So maybe after that, you'll do some more uh, grappling. Who knows? Maybe. I I I've, I've been waiting to uh, go back to it myself. Um because <clears throat> you know like for a lot of people because of covid you know yeah. I had to figure out uh kind of like what to do with my life. Yeah. Cuz like uh 2015 it was like drinking you know this and that for so so many years and then like it finally stopped and I was like oh I got to get back into the doing jujitsu again so i like just train gi well you know i mean i train no gi of course as well but so i specifically wanted to train gi because it was so like structured and i found it so difficult mm-hmm. and like i got my brown belt and then covid and i was just like oh no what am i gonna do for my mental health yeah it's like you better figure it out yep <laughs> better figure yeah. it out quick yes you're right and I just started doing some searching and I found like, uh, cl- like steel clubs and club bells and like maces and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, that's, that's, that's pretty awesome. And then as time was passing, I was just like, my grip is pretty good. Like, you know, like people would always say stuff in jujitsu. And I was like, why don't I make it stronger? So I just started doing some searching and then I found like, barrel strength systems and uh you know you know a few other folks and i was just like what this is a thing yeah this is incredible and you know and then i started making some some like fat bar dumbbells and some like pinch blocks out of wood i would like suspend it from a pull-up bar and do like rows and stuff i was just like man this is a lot of fun so yeah i think i've always done some sort of grip related sport uh Mm -hmm. or exercising like the gymnastic strength training like the the gymnastic body style yeah super beneficial but uh you know every now and again i'll post some sort of like silly body weight thing where i'm upside down or hanging on the rings and stuff and i do that just for like kind of like little check-ins 
just to see if I'm capable of doing any of it. I'm not <laughs> uh, <laughs> fully capable, uh, but but that's okay. I can still do some things. And I think uh, for me at my age, you know, obviously I'm not like an you know an older guy, uh, but when you you know you're middle aged, like you definitely feel different. So I like to move around a bit. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, you were mentioning Adam Glass earlier. He does the same kind of check-ins I've noticed uh, with his pinch blocks up on his pull-up bar as well. Yeah. I um, him do some L-sits up there and whatnot. I would love to try the ones that he has because, mm-hmm. uh, like, the way that they're offset. Yeah. Um, Ode has a, a, a Saxon bar that's the same way. And it's cool because, like, you can – uh, put more pressure on one way or another and uh yeah i think that's really cool i like the ones that i do it on are just just the napalm nightmare like through uh like a pipe through them yeah you know or that or i'll just hang a saxon bar you know i don't have the kind of strength strength that adam does but you know i do what i can yeah he doesn't he has a uh, far less implements than i thought he would you know, when, uh, when we went down there and trained with him for King Kong. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of stuff, but the stuff he has works really well. That's awesome. I I, I was really hoping that I was going to uh, meet him last year. I was planning to like go on this like road trip. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I was processing out of the Navy, it was in uh, Jacksonville, Florida, and I was going to rent a car and like hit all these different spots with all these people that I wanted to meet. And then I looked at the the price and it was going to be like three and a half grand, like to rent a car for that period of time. And I was like, oh, my goodness, I might as well just wait until I get home and then buy a car. And then hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Car rental, rental prices went absurd during the pandemic. So, yeah, yeah I, mean, like, that. I was thinking about buying a car in Florida, but then I would have had to pay the California sales tax again. I was like, no, that's not worth it. Yeah, it's no. that's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be the same situation, just paying a lot of extra money for no reason. Yeah. Are are you guys holding King Kong? Yeah, we're gonna be hosting King Kong up here. Okay. I don't know if we're doing it down here. Um, so far uh, I've heard no. Um, so if that's what's going on, then uh, I'll probably come up and do it at your spot. That'd be awesome. We'd love to see you up here. Yeah, I'd like to. I think I got like 80, 80 kg on the the crusher. Mm-hmm. So I'd like to bump that up a bit. Hopefully, right on. Yeah, it's uh October twenty eighth, King Kong. Okay. Uh, so you were the thing you sent me about competitions. Um, I have one this weekend. Uh, down in San Diego. Uh, it's called crocodile crush that was actually the first competition that i did last year it's really cool because there's two regular arm lifting style uh, events and then there's like a pinch medley at the end oh that's cool so neat and and last year it wasn't just pinch it was like a the first thing i did was like a euro pinch and then there's like a fat grips dumbbell lift to put on the thing and Mm-hmm. that was super easy but uh there there's like a hub and then all the pinch blocks there's this one cylinder thing that i want to i want to lift it this time so hopefully uh it, it, it's a super tough one but hopefully i'm success, successful with that um the events are going to be saxon uh the the v-bar um mm-hmm. like like the loading pin style i believe and then okay. the medley. So I remember that Saxon bar last year. I think I was at 85 at the time, like in training. And then I used that particular one and hit like 65. Ah, uh, yeah. It was brutal. And so I, with any luck, I, I would like to bump up my competition uh, PR to 102 this weekend. So we'll... We'll see it if it happens. I hope it does. Hey, good luck, man. 
Yeah. Yeah. Our lifts in the Northwest tend to be a smidge above what they are in competition because our bars get a little seasoned in the rain up here, you know, just in the whole environment in general, Mm. you know, especially if you have a garage gym or something like that. So I try to keep the uh, competition implements inside the house away from the garage as much as I can. So man, you'll lift uh, 10% more. (laughs) Okay. So Uh, I'm, I may do this like strict curl competition Mm -hmm. uh, because Will did one and then the super series, there's a grip giants. And then I'd like to go to heavy hands uh, over North Carolina with Zach. Yeah. I've been in all those guys. Um, And then if the super series is, you know, successful, uh, maybe I'll go to Mr. Olympia again. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. I don't know if they're doing a belt again this year, but that'd be interesting. Did you make it out to the Arnold this year? I did not. I was invited and I received my $100 uh, shirt. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I actually just got it yesterday. Um, Cause I went out to the training hall to uh, meet up with Ode and, 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 and Travis for a little training. And he uh, got my shirt for me. So it has my name on it. I I don't know. I feel kind of weird about wearing it, but I'll probably wear it somewhere. I, As always, next year you'll get back there. Yeah, um, that it, it's funny because the first time I went to the to the training hall, mm-hmm. uh, Will Ju- Giuliani was like, "Do you know you're going to the Arnold's, right?" I'm like, "No, like you have to be invited." <laughs> He's like, "You'll get invited. Just keep doing competitions." And I was like, "Oh, okay, man." You know, just like my very first day. Like, oh, 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 you know, I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, he's a pretty uh, intense dude for sure. I love him, man. I I love the guys out here. I, you know, I I just wish I could see them more. You know, you know, I mostly train alone. Yeah. And uh, training with you know folks tends to be a little bit more productive. Uh, but if you want it then you're gonna make it happen at your spot like wherever you are you know yeah absolutely it's like you know like being in the military like the those 23 years there's always people who are like oh oh let's train or whatever you know and then things would always come up for them and then i'll be like Yo, okay uh, you know i'm just gonna be going training doing my thing so yep um yeah yeah yeah, I think that a lot of people have echoed that uh, consistency is the key. Uh, you train almost every day. Um, what do you do? Do you do anything specifically for your recovery? Um, not really. I I just rest a lot. You yeah. know, I lay down whenever I can, and I just, uh, just kind of be still and just relax. Um, yes, I do train a lot. They're not always the most productive days. Um but it's a way for me to keep myself, uh, you know, I hold myself accountable that way. So, you know. So um, on the opposite end of the spectrum from achievement, what's your greatest blunder or injury? Uh, after I lifted the Denny Stones, we were in a hotel at the, uh, the Edinburgh Theater Festival. And I was doing a Jefferson lift with, uh, fat grips. And okay. since then, since then I have like sciatica <laughs> on my left side, <laughs> probably that. I mean, you know, I've got like arthritis in my right hand, mm-hmm. so that's not awesome. But, uh, I recently been using like some CDB oil or like a bomb type stuff on it. We'll see how that works. I don't know. You know, I, I do like the tack fit style, like, uh, training as well. So their training has to do with like a lot of movement and a lot of like, uh, knowing how far to go and, uh, you know, has a bit of recovery in there as well. I, I'm not really proficient in like the flow fit stuff, which, um, I, I would recommend to folks, uh, but I just, you know, I, you know, like everybody you just do whatever you can yeah i don't do like the ice the heat um i usually take like a hot shower and kind of like massage my hands a bit um 
for the Mr. Olympia, we had one of those like big spa jacuzzis, uh, baths. And, and, and so I just laid in that bit, but then I get hot and I'm just like, ah, oh, like, you know, I need to get out of here. I feel like when I was uh, stationed in Cuba, like a lot of my recovery happened in the water when I was like doing all that spear fishing. Yeah. Because, you know, it was such like you have to be at like such a relaxed state. And, uh, you know, there's all that movement and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I miss diving quite a bit. I live a little bit too far from the ocean to be going all the time. So, um, if you have you stumbled upon any training methods that are abnormal that you would say have uh, increased your performance quite a bit in grip? Um, uh, maybe the the hanging stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think a lot of the lifts and like the grip stuff in general. There's a bit of like mental toughness, and as like you know, I talked about before about like the grinding lifts. Mm -hmm. um, and then with like jujitsu and everything, just like that mental fortitude that it creates, um, you know, I think those are very good for that. And then just being able to hold positions for a bit of time. I want to play more around with like lockouts. I was doing some research about climbers, you know, and they're super strong and amazing. Um, so like the 90 degree lockout, and then like the 120 degree lockout, I find super interesting because, you know, like when you're doing the rolling handles or even some of the bars, like you're going to be in that almost 120 degree position. Yeah. So I think there might be some benefit. Unfortunately for most of the grip folks, they're like, uh, like heavier. So it, mm -hmm. you know, it makes it, you know, a bit more tough. So like I said, for like the lighter guys, um, you know, I think a lot of the hanging stuff can be super beneficial, super beneficial. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. And it's just fun. You know, I, you know, I, I just like to try stuff out and if I'm not successful, I'm just like, okay, I tried it. Yeah. I mean, I see even some of the, the heaviest of the gripsters like, uh, Jason Dingy doing stuff on pull-up bars and doing hanging stuff. Yeah. If your body can take it, if like your tendons can take it from whatever you've done in the past, uh, do it, do it be, be, because it will be beneficial. I, I, I mostly do like singles for mm -hmm. like regular lifting. Um, every now and again, I'll do like three reps or five reps, or if it's like the very last thing that I'll do as like a finisher, like I'll just go until I'm like close to finish or I just, you know, I just don't want to do anymore. So I, you know, I think those, are important too, uh, especially like the finisher style ones. Cause again, it like builds that, like that mental toughness. And then I think a lot of this stuff is just, you know, it's just mind games, you know, because yeah. if, if you tell yourself, Oh man, Oh man, this is heavy. Then you, you probably won't lift it. You know, exactly. You know, so I, I, you know, I, I, I'm pretty critical of like, uh, my lifts and um, I don't always have <laughs> like the best attitude like when I'm lifting and like oh, come on what are you doing you know <laughs> yeah but I think that's uh, probably just being like a reasonably competitive person or you know somebody who's been competitive sports uh, for a while obviously this is much more relaxed of competitive sports because yeah. you're, you're, you're you know, not trying to pop each other's heads off or. or I still something. think you need to be passionate about it. I think, you know, absolutely. Yeah. I, yeah. And, and uh, that's kind of how I am with everything. Like whatever I'm into at the time, it's like all in, you know, uh, my, my buddy at one duty station, he used to call me, no offense to anybody. He used to call me like the Jehovah's Witness of Jiu-Jitsu. He'd be like, have you heard the good news? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, I thought that was hilarious. And then I was inside some office building on one of the bases. 
And the, you know, I was telling this guy all about like Indian clubs and how beneficial they can be. And he's just like, wow, man, you are really passionate about these little wooden clubs. <laughs> and you have no idea. You could do so many things with them. Like, like, like the brain puzzles, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really enjoy training. Um, yeah. And I'm very fortunate that I've, you know, I've built up a little uh, gym when I was away and, you know, and I've found some more things here and my wife got the garage on like a wait list and then it had the uh, pegboard already up there. Oh, nice. So I saw that. I was like, oh, I'm going to have a grip wall. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> She's like, OK, uh, do whatever you want. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Right, use the pegboard however you need. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and and just recently she said, um, I, we were talking about like a power cage, you know, like, like, like but having it indoors. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, yes. I, you know, I, I think we could use that in the second bedroom. I was like, what? you said it. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. I want to get one of those ones that have like the lat pull down and, and like the rowing thing. So you can like put mm -hmm. in the and stuff you know just for some like nice relaxed training and maybe i'll feel like comfortable safe enough like to do some like back squats and stuff like that it may yeah, absolutely because like my garage it's super uneven and like if you do any sort of like real like heavy stuff oh man you know this is just dicey yeah, I got I got fortunate. The garage floor in my new place was uh, done not too long ago, so it's going to be really nice and even for setting up my gym. I plan on moving it over here this summer, so that's awesome. That'll be exciting. Hopefully, I'll have the three checked off by then. I hope so. It's coming soon. Just got to keep working. Whatever you're chasing in a long time. Like yeah. Uh, did you come up with your, with your own programming? Uh, no, I'm actually working with Ricardo. Awesome. Cool. So yeah, he's been doing my programming for me and I've made a ton of progress. I mean, I think when we started, I was closing the 123 for like uh, sets of two. Mm -hmm. And now I've done that with a 135. So I've added 12 pounds in the past year to my gripper closes, which doesn't sound like a ton, but it's quite a bit when you're getting close to what probably is going to be like the max you'll wind up doing. I think okay. everybody has a max potential on the grippers and I don't think I'm ever going to wind up closing a four. I'm no Yvonne Shook, you know? <laughs> understandable yeah we all have so, our limits it's just great to be able to test them until we want to do something else yeah for sure so um speaking of that you said uh one of your current athletic goals is to hit the uh 102 in competition on the saxon do you have any other uh, major athletic goals uh well that's just like a, a, a stepping stone like i yeah. want to get up to 110 and then i want to get up to mm -hmm. 120 i think okay. it's possible It'll obviously take some time. Um, fat bar, not really. Uh, rolling handles, not really. You know, you know. I would like to get the fat man. Yeah. Um, that's that's the really the only one that I'm really bothered with. Um, yeah. You got your hands on an inch yet? Uh, there's one at the training hall. Mm -hmm. I'm. I'm still trying to contact, uh, like connect with somebody who has a welder so he can like weld me this like dumbbell. Cause I'm nowhere near, uh, near the inch. I'm probably like 20 pounds or 15 pounds away. So I'm just going to keep plugging away. I've been doing like a lot of like single arm, uh, lifts mm -hmm. recently. Uh, and I find those, uh, fun, uh, you know, sometimes they're just easier on the body. Uh, regardless if you like go crazy heavier or, or you know or not but yes I would like to lift the inch at some point because it weighs more than me yeah you know that'll be cool yeah that I would be awesome I've seen I think two two or three guys two guys like in Australia that are lighter than the inch and they lifted it they are like I believe they're like professional climbers <laughs> Tom Denmead and uh, Ben Kazi, yeah, yeah. The, and the other guys, really lightweight guy, Eves Gravel, another professional climber. Oh yeah, yeah. So those those three guys have done it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
I would like to be on that list of, of like that 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 imaginary list. Yeah, it's a pretty small list. I can't imagine there's too many more guys. And I think Eves was sub 150 when he did it, which is just absurd. That's insane. That's insane. And, uh, I mean, Joe's lifting the Millennium now, and that's, like, his body weight or more than his body weight, I believe. Yeah. I. That's incredible. That's incredible. I it it, it It's kind of weird with all these different implements. It's like... Um, like some implements you need to do like your body weight in mm -hmm. to be able to consider that like a decent lift or like double body weight, you know, like a double body weight axle is a good lift, but yeah. obviously it's, it, it's a really good lift, but, um, but it's hard, like, uh, for the guys who like weigh more, like for the guys, like 300 pounds, like, <laughs> like this uh, it's not really fair you know so nope. it's kind of like uh what i was talking about like the body weight stuff you know you know at some point like uh, their tendons you know like if their body just won't be able to handle it so like i feel you know a bit biased when i'm like well you know like i'm a little guy and i can do like 100 on the saxon bar you know and like the the the, the top guys you know they're like 80 plus pounds more than me but like they weigh you know 200 pounds more than me but like you have to think about like gravity and like their their, their tendon and everything so it's not really fair to be like that but sometimes i feel like yeah. that you know I'm like, <laughs> I'm like you know it's just like in boxing uh yeah. like people people love the gigantic men you know, like the big, the, the big folks, mm -hmm. the heavyweights. You know, you know, you, you know, it's not a whole lot of love for the lightweights. But maybe if this sport gets uh, larger down the line, maybe there will be love everywhere. <laughs> yeah, everybody well, loves a good five hundred pound axle lift. Of course, of yeah. course. Yeah, I, I like the like the pound for pound style stuff. I yeah, I saw somebody is doing a competition. Uh, I can't remember exactly who it was, but they're doing like, uh, like best total and then like best pound for pound. I think that was yep. really cool. I was like, oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, they've, there's been a few comps over the years that uh that do that. They do a pound for pound rating as well as their the big lift weight rating. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, and if those Australian guys get in there, then you know. Yeah, then it's all over, of course. <laughs> those guys are crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, Tom did. I don't know, one hundred and seventeen percent of his body weight on the potato. Yeah, it makes sense to me that they would do that because of all the because the crimp lift and the way they the way they yeah. climb. Yeah. Sorry, I thought I lost you there. Uh, the 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 screen just went to to the other side. Yeah, you know, like like all the crimping and stuff. Um, but anyways, it's still it. It's still remarkable. Yeah, I I find those guys to be absolutely incredible. I mean, super strength, yeah, pound for pound, unbelievable. Probably the best gripsters out there, pound for pound. Those guys. Yeah, they gotta be. They gotta be for sure. Um, are you guys doing Napalm Nightmare? You know, I, um, I think no, like a... not that I'm aware of. We're just doing Super Series King Kong, uh, Golden Potato Championship this year. Okay. I still haven't hit that 75 pound pull up with the golden potatoes. I should try that again. Yeah. That'd be a heck of a feat. Yeah. I, you know, I, you know, I probably had it last time, but like as my feet hit, like the right hand like came off. So I was like, Oh, no lift. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be strict about it. Right. Yeah. You know, um, you know, you, you got to make it look good or, or else it yeah. doesn't work, you know, but anyways, um, yeah, uh, I, you know, I'm just going to keep on training and keep talking to folks. That's been, uh, the biggest, uh, you know, like the easiest way for me to, uh, achieve any of ways, 
anything is just, you know, talking to this like very friendly community and people who are, you know, not like holding all the secrets or anything like that, you know. Yeah, I would have never tore a deck of cards in half if I didn't talk to this community. I would have had all the strength in the world, but I would have never made it happen. It's just unless you're told about the little S shape you make and the way you grip it and the way you actually do it, I would have never made it happen. There's no Mm -hmm. way. Same thing with bending like the red nail. I would have never accomplished bending five sixteenth steel if uh, I didn't talk to someone and get the technique down exactly. I tried bending uh, after like a a pretty tough session in my garage, and it was so pitiful. And I was like, "Oh man, I really need to get back into this." You know, but you only have so much time. You only have so much time. Yeah, I think bending is extremely technique uh, dependent. Probably more so than almost anything in grip. Mm. Yeah. So um, if you could start your training all over again with what you know now, would you do anything different and why? Uh, I would probably start with uh, gymnastics and wrestling paired as like a teenager yeah or or even younger i would do that um i feel like uh when i was doing those kinds of things i was really 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 strong i i've always been kind of like unusually strong for being like a you know, like, like a smaller person. Uh, but I didn't really get into doing jujitsu until I was probably in my mid twenties. Yeah. Yeah. G- gymnastics, strength training, not like doing all the, like the flips and stuff like that, just like yeah. stuff on the rings and hand balancing, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. I think those are super beneficial because uh, I, I, I'm pretty decent at like, uh, V bars. And I think it's from all that, like wrist grabbing, you know, cause that's basically yeah. like a V bar, like, 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 like all that pulling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I would yeah, do... it'd be interesting to see what a, a good ring gymnastic, you know, could do in the grip world. Because I mean, those guys, their arms are just, I mean, freaking monster. They're just beast mode for sure. Yeah, they they have incredible uh, tendons. Yeah, you know, especially in the wrists, which is super super important. Obviously, like it, the, the the finger strength is 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 important too. I always uh, would tell people if I was able to start my whole own gym, it would be like a mixture of like strongman and gymnastic strength training. But obviously now, like there would be a whole grip area to it yeah and and on the side there would be mats yeah yeah i found a place uh that's local that doesn't make you buy their gi so um as soon as i'm ready i'm gonna go check it out right on yeah i'm super excited to get back into it but i'm just the only thing is like i'm just like all right you know how much time am I going to have to do this? And like, what's going to, you know, like the give and take type thing. Yeah. So. Well, no, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully I get to come up and see you guys for uh, King Kong. Yeah. We'd be really excited to see you for sure. So yeah. um, let's see, last question. What do you think is the most important piece of uh, equipment in your home gym? just my garage yeah <laughs> I, I, I i don't know that's pretty tough to stay yeah yeah it's pretty tough to say yeah I, I i don't know a lot of it's important some stuff like i don't like use like the evil hub you know you know or anything yeah. like that. uh but probably the most important thing to this sport the evil um, hub the super shallow one or something yeah yeah uh, probably the most important thing that I have now is my 
calibrated plates. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that is super helpful. I got them in kg, so I wouldn't have to count. Yeah. Nice. So all, <laughs> so all, all, all I really need to know is uh, uh, the way of the implement and the loading pin. Implement and the loading pin. Yeah. 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 That's Those cool. are probably the most important thing at this particular time. The most important thing when I was doing the Denny Stone stuff was obviously the set that John made me and those hundred pound mm -hmm. plates. Yeah. And those were a lifesaver. I, I, I actually never met somebody who picked them up for me. I, I was like talking to somebody on Instagram and they picked them up for me when I was still overseas. Like, like locally uh, in Thousand Oaks and he just held on to him until I came and he's like, oh, oh, oh yeah, man, no problem. Such a good dude. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> and, and this guy is like, the best hype man. Yeah. Sweaty bike. <laughs> That's great, man. Yeah. So um, do you have any advice for the average person trying to get fit and healthy? Find a way to move your body that, you know, pleases you and, yeah. you know, keeps you entertained. Because if you, you know, if you don't like it, then you won't do it. You know, I, and, and, and try different things, you know, cause that's what life is about, you know, experiencing it. Yeah. I a hundred percent agree with that. I will, I'll never stick to a, a workout program that I don't enjoy. It's just super hard to do. Yeah. Cause if it's like, like if you, you know, you know, it doesn't like please your soul, just move on, man. Find something else. You know, if you like riding bikes, go do that. Just just do something over a super long period of time. You know, yeah. and it's okay to change things. You know, just, just keep moving. Because when you don't, I find that for myself, like, if there's a long period of time of, like, zero movement, like, my body just, like, goes... It shuts down and like everything starts hurting and you know and all yep. that. Yeah. Say being sedentary is worse than smoking. For sure. So there you go. So do you have any questions for uh for me before I let you go? Uh my main question was about King Kong. Yeah. Um I want to go lift your guys' stones as well. Yeah, you know, we have I, a lot of stones. I, you have a I, lot of fun with that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I would like to get uh, you know. A stone named after me like that would be cool um you know i'm not like the strongest in lifting stones but i really enjoy the puzzle of them and they're super fun yeah they are a lot of fun it's yeah. one of my favorite things we have and like the walking thing gotta grind that out you really do 180 <laughs> feet it's not easy yeah 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 i you know i i, I just really want to uh take this opportunity now that like, you know, I'm not in the Navy anymore. I'm not overseas for most of the time, uh, you know, just to interact, connect with people, uh, talk about stuff that we like to talk about and, and do those things together. Yeah, for sure. That's been the best part about this grip sport that we've found. It's just, uh, we've made good friends. Awesome. All right, man. Well, you have a good night. We hope to see you in October. All right. Enjoy your night. Take care. Bye.